Happy Monday, BW Circle. This is Felicia bringing you your Marriage Monday. You know we're still doing theme days at the BW, so today is Marriage Monday. So my advice for today is power off and be present. Power off and be present. I was reading an article, and the article explained how technology, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong, technology can cause two problems. The first problem is the technology can take us into mental overload, and the reason being is because technology, we can have access to it 24-7. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we can tune into social media, we can turn on our radios, we can turn on our TVs. We have access to technology 24-7. So the article even went to say we are in information overload because of technology. And so then the second thing that the article stated was that technology can also have an effect on our marriage. Because when we're with our spouses, instead of us tuning in to our spouses, we often tune in to technology. And so I thought about that for a second and I decided to test it in my own marriage because my husband and I were both very busy people. Um, and so, so often um, we're in our technology. I mean, that's just part of our daily routine. And so I decided that I'm just going to take a day and power off. I'm not going to go upstairs and get on a computer. I'm not going to get on my telephone. I'm just going to power off and be present in the moment with my spouse. So when I made that decision, my husband was out on the lake. I went outside with him and I sit down beside him. And so he looked sort of weird because he was like, man, she's sitting out here on the lake with me because I'm going to just be honest. Fishing is not my thing. OK, let, let, let's just be clear on that. I don't do the fishing thing. So I pulled up my little folding chair, sit on the side of him on the lake. So he looked at me. He said, oh, you threw right in your papers. I don't have any papers to grade. He's oh, he said, you're not working on nothing for the ministry? Nope. And so I just sit there for a second. And after a few seconds, he saw that I wasn't going anywhere. It's like a big smile came across his face like a chess cat. I don't know if you ever heard the word chess cat. And he began to tell me about the different fish in the lake. And even though it's a lake behind our home, I'm not familiar with anything that's back there. And he meant to tell me that him and Mike had saw a big bass. Uh, that was eating their little fish off the line. And he just went in to tell me story after story. And he just brought me into his world. And just the excitement of going into his world and his happiness that I saw, not only with the fishing, but that his wife was there present with him in his world. It just made a world of difference. So even the next day, him and I, we went out to dinner. And usually, I'm going to be honest, we're like most couples that you see. You see people in a restaurant. They're at a table. Even though they're at the table together, they're not present in the moment. You have one person on their phone, the other person. Just look around the next time you go in a restaurant. You'll see everybody. So everybody's head is down in the restaurant because they're, they're, they're using their technology. But they have somebody right across the table with them they can communicate with. But they choose to tune into technology instead of being present with the people that's surrounded by them. Just, just pay attention to that. So we went into our restaurant and placed our order like we always do. I never pulled my phone off. As a matter of fact, I reached my hand down in my purse and turned my phone off. And so um, after that, good morning, Jalen. She's walking across my video. So after um, we placed our order, then uh, he got on his phone. And so he on the phone for a minute. And he looked up for a second and realized that I wasn't on my phone. So after he realized that he looked down for a few more minutes, slid his phone in his pocket. And then we went on to have the best dinner, the best communication that we had uh, in a moment, in a few months, because we just made a conscious choice, a conscious choice just to tune off of technology, to power off for a second, and to just tune into each other. And I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference. So my advice to you, better woman, better wife, whether you're single or whether you're married, just tune off. If you look, this is my challenge for this Monday. Power off today. Don't get on social media. Don't uh, get on your technology when you get home. If you're in the car with your spouse or just to power off. If you're at home, turn off the TV, power off. Just tune in. Same thing, single people. If you're just out with your girlfriends hanging out, tune off and just get into your girl's world for a second. If you're with a family member, a co-worker, just power off and see the difference that it would make in that relationship. I'm telling you. 
again, technology is not a bad thing. I am pro technology, but what I've learned is a time and it's a place for it. And when you're in the presence of other people, it's not the time for it. Tune off, power off, and tune in and be present in the moment. And with that being said, be blessed and happy Monday.